Good evening, friends. We start tonight with an all-too-familiar story. Nice, France, one of the most peaceful places on Earth, has experienced a horrific terrorist attack this evening. Today was Bastille Day, a national holiday in France celebrating the country's revolution. The celebration ended violently when a truck drove into a crowd of people at a fireworks display. The president of the Nice region says over 70 people are dead. He confirms police have killed the driver and the truck was loaded with arms and grenades. An eyewitness tells the Associated Press he saw a truck driver drive into the crowd, then emerge with a gun and start shooting. He described the scene as bodies everywhere. A spokesman for France's interior minister says the death toll is likely to rise, but confirms the attack is not a hostage situation. No group has taken responsibility for the attack yet. For more on this, let's turn to former CIA agent Jack Rice. Jack, always good to have you with us tonight. Thank you. Are intelligence agencies around the world, and especially ours, expecting these kinds of attacks? This is almost a new wave, a new technique. We haven't seen something like this, or am I mistaken? Well, I, the real problem, Ed, and thanks for having me on the program, is that this is the new paradigm shift. What we're looking at are low-tech attacks by those who are inspired by the likes of ISIL. And the fear with something like that is, is there is no direct link, no direct connecting of the dots. And the problem is because of that, it's almost impossible to stop those who can essentially f come out of the woodwork, come out of your basement, if you will, and do what you're going to do because there's no way to figure it out until after the fact. That's the fear right now. This fear here is that this could have been a lone wolf attack. All the details are not out as of yet as the investigation continues tonight. But if it is a lone wolf attack, it's one of the most horrific ones we've seen, isn't it? Yes, it, it absolutely is. I mean, when we look at the death toll here and the capability of this, but I think the bottom line still is this low tech aspect to it. I mean, the fact that the weapons that that person allegedly had with them it does change it to some degree, because if you excluded those, it would be horrific in its own sense. But adding those to this, it gives, us a, gives it a connection that goes simply beyond Paris, simply beyond Nice in this case. It could be something much, much broader. And I think it's very, very important to take a very close look at the weaponry that was actually in that vehicle to determine exactly where the origin was. That may lead at least authorities to the next best step at this point. Really, uh, now French officials are confirming that there are 75 who have perished in this terrorist attack. There really is no way uh, what, or let me ask you, what do intelligence uh, agencies do at this point in the wake of uh, an attack like this? Uh, unpreventable? Or, uh, what techniques would change an investigation? Well, I, I think if I'm looking at this, if I were in Nice at this point, one of the things I would look at is, again, I would take a closer look at all of the weaponry that this individual had and see if you can reach backwards, if you can essentially reconstruct from that point. I think in addition to that is to make a determination as to the connections between this individual and others in the region. Because if this isn't a lone wolf, I mean, that's maybe your first step is to make a determination. Are there others who were involved? Is this a cell that was much bigger than simply one individual. Are there more attacks that may be coming? Is there a way to reconstruct and deconstruct this to see if there's something else that's happening? That is the first step. And at least from that point, you try to follow any line that you can, because this is the new paradigm shift. We don't have anything at this point to make an absolute determination that this is ISIL. But okay. in the events that it is, this is what we've seen in the past. All right, Jack Rice, former CIA agent, appreciate your time tonight. Thanks so much, Jack.